Oh man, it's new machine day. And it's an awesome day because we have a machine coming in with eight spindles that all work at the same time. This technology is on a whole nother level. Ooh, the multi-Swiss is in the house. We got half of the machine over here, half of the machine over here. We're gonna bring it in, we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna teach you exactly how to use it. It's gonna be awesome. This multi-Swiss machine has 35 axes of motion. That is absolutely insane. Tools hitting all at the same time. So one way to look at it is if you had a program and you'd run like tool one, tool two, tool three, and boom, boom, boom. On this machine, you basically have tool one, two, three, four, five, all running at the exact same time. And it's dropping parts in 10 seconds instead of one minute, 20 seconds. Boom, multi-swiss, baby. How come Donnie gets the cool machines? Crazy technology coming in and the new guy gets it. What's up with that? Not really surprised. <laughs> Barry must be feeling sick right now because he's not, he has no comeback. I am feeling sick right now. <laughs> I want to see what this thing looks like. This is like the first step up I've seen on a machine in a long time. So I'm super pumped to get this thing inside and work on it. Boom. We've had an influence on this man. Okay. Because when he first came, he was standing over here and we we're trying to get him to talk smack. And he was just like, how are you feeling? Good, man. Excited. This machine looks awful metric to me. <laughs> and Barry's just leaning into him, leaning into him, leaning into him, and he had no comeback. You know what I mean? A few months here at Titans of CNC, and this boy is a man. Woo! Boom! Boom! Turn yeah! Him. yeah! Woo! <laughs> that they're lifting it all from this side, the left side. They got it right, they got it right here, but there's no weight over there, so the heaviest part is right here. So it seems like you're on one side, but that's where all the weight is. All right, so we got the bar feeder kind of set, like bar feeder on crazy steroids, but it's set right here, the other machine, is over here. We're gonna actually bring it right over the oil pan. We're gonna place it in perfect position. And then this part of the machine, we're gonna shove it straight in and they're gonna lock together and it's a monster. Check this out. Look at this thing, man. Actually, yeah, come on this side, check this out. Oh man. Open it up, Donnie. You got a knife on you? I want to say this is like Christmas, but this is definitely cooler than Christmas, for sure. <laughs> oh man, look inside this thing. This thing's insane, man. Dude, you're a tall dude, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been working out. My legs grew about, you know, oh, all right, never mind, never mind. <laughs> we can open the door right now? Oh, Ooh. yeah, everything's ready to go. All of the stations have high pressure, regular pressure coolant. You throw your tooling block on there, it's ready to go. You don't have to do a bunch of plumbing, none of that nonsense. It's, it comes out of the factory, all ready to go. And here's where all your different live tools hook right up to your motor. They all plug into these different stations. So each one of these is for if you were to put a live tooling spindle in here with different attachments and whatever, you just basically plug right in here, you're ready to go. That's it, you can go from live to static just like that. I am so excited. Oh man. We got where we load the bars right here. So you can load this up with bars, but they also have a mechanism for this thing that can hold two tons of material. So if you want to keep it running for weeks on end, they got you covered. 
So this is pretty crazy. This is a centrifuge and we're not using it to enrich uranium. We're actually using it to clean our chips. See, when you're trying to get down under five microns and you just use a filter, you might have an issue with the tiny little chips floating, right? This spins the oil and brings all the fine chips out. So what you're gonna have pretty much every time you change this is almost like a paste. It's gonna be such a fine, tiny little paste of all the metal it's gonna collect out of the oil. This of course extends your machine's life. I mean, really, they thought of everything with this thing. And as you walk around the machine, there's even more exciting stuff to look at. And this right here is two different chilling systems for your fluids of your machine. Over here, they have up to four different filtration systems on your machine. We're gonna use the cutting oil to create a hydrostatic effect around our spindle so there's a frictionless movement. You can't just use dirty cutting oil for that. So they have different filtration systems for the oil that gets used for that, the flood coolant, the high pressure coolant. They've really thought of everything, it's insane. For how much technology you have in here, this might look huge, but it's not, right? This is replacing eight spindles. So you could have eight Swiss machines lined up, or you can have this thing right here. I mean, it's pretty impressive. When you come around the front and you look at it, it really doesn't take up too much space. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, really, that's not too much wider than just a big Swiss machine or even a regular lathe. I can't wait to load this thing up with some kind of metal tools. If you go on our website right now at titansofcnctooling.com, you can get some amazing deals on things like kind of metal tooling, Heimer probes, you name it. And everything you buy off our website, guys, helps support things like free education and CNC expert. So make sure you get on there. All right, let's get the last piece of this oil tray in place so they can set this thing down. Perfect. They're just getting it set down in place right now. They got the leveling pads in place. Right now we're just figuring out how exactly where we want it. We're gonna put the machine in first and then we're gonna move the bar feeder up. This is cool, check this out. This machine comes already integrated with high frequency spindles. If you don't know what those are, sometimes in Swiss machining you have to go above what your live tools can handle. So a lot of live tools are like six, 9,000 RPM. That's like nothing. These things right here, actually allow you to control different high frequency spindles that are gonna go in the machine. You can machine over 100,000 RPM with some of these things. So that'll be really fun to show you guys eventually. There's like a crosshair and he's using the crosshair. So you're just seeing how far away the laser is from the side of the machine right. to see how straight the machine is right. to that. Right. That's pretty slick. You see it's right now it's 10, That's perfect. One step closer to having this thing installed. I am super excited, guys. Let's go. Pretty excited. Ah, I am so excited. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am super excited right now. I don't know if you can do, do, do I seem excited? Do I seem excited at all? No? It has been such a long time since I can say I've genuinely been this excited to work on a machine. All right. It's alive. <laughs> Should start to see all the oil come out, right? You will see it in that few seconds. Yeah, look at this. All the oil and all the spindles and the barrel, the hydrostatic effect is starting to get pressure. That's pretty cool. And 
All right, this is Z. Look at that, look at the spindles. That's so crazy. This is gonna be insane when all eight of these things are moving around. That's so cool, man. I think one of the cool things is that we show small machines, medium machines, huge machines. We teach on all levels. Titans of CNC in recent months has actually taken a huge step into the automation side of it. So not just running multiple tools, but bringing in Heller and palletizing and teaching on that level and then bringing in the multi-Swiss with eight spindles that are all working at the exact same time, producing parts in record time. Because as educators in the industry, it's important for us to teach our kids. It's important to show all the different levels of machining, to show grinding, to show Swiss, and show all of it. But we also want to educate owners and shop leaders and show you that no matter where you live in this world, you can manufacture your own parts if you have the right technology on your floor. You can outcompete anybody in the world, but you got to understand how to program it, how to set it up and how to run it. And sometimes seeing is believing and that's why we're bringing in this multi-Swiss. Having a platform like this, it's important for us to actually bring awareness to the exact solutions that companies can use to bring that work back. No matter where you're at, you can actually make your own parts in your own countries and put food on your own tables, take care of your kids, and boom, manufacturing, man. Yeah, let's go. Woo. Boom, boom, Donnie. Like, yeah, I love this, all right? Wait, I said, yeah, I said, yeah, again, like, you know, all right, all right, you ready? Take two. All right, all right, I can't say it. I feel, I feel like the, um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, now, ladies, yeah. All right, Dang, see, I said all right again, I can't even help it. I'm a buffoon. All right. <laughs> I can't, now you got me all messed up. I can't do it, I just can't do it. Don't think about it, that's the same All right, thing. I won't think about it. Ah!